Hello. Hi. Hi, Mary. I'm doing the scanning today. Do you want me to sit, please? Anytime you want to stop scanning, press the button and we stop scanning. Okay. Okay? We're investigating mental health and risk-taking behavior in teenagers and the studies going on throughout Europe, um, also at universities in, um, in Ireland and France and Germany. Um, and we're using the fields of genetics, cognitive neuroscience, and psychiatry to get a better idea of how the teenage mind works. The offer of doing something new, like having a brain scan and doing all this kind of um, psychological tests and stuff, it just interested me. There's been two phases of the study thus far that um, took place when the subjects were 14 and 16. So now we're in the middle of the phase now that they're 18. Um, so we should be getting access to results um, in four to six months in terms of neuroimaging data at least. Some of the questionnaires, a lot of the questions are about your life and your, the things you've been through and it kind of opened up the window that I have had like quite a normal life, like there's nothing that's happened to me that um, has influenced in a bad way. A lot of mental illnesses actually have their first onset um, before age 24 and actually half of them before age 14. So it's very important that we um, are able to identify symptoms early on um, as well as risk factors for developing certain mental illnesses. So it's very important that we're catching people between 14 and 18. They might come back when they're 21, so presumably um, around that time your brain's kind of finished maturing or at least made more progress in that way, so we might bring them back. While you can still hear me, um, here are the finger grips, so you're going to hold them like this and press these two, so here's the right one. One of the extra analyses that we're doing on the scanner, um, for instance, is the abdominal scan. So that's not something that the image in study is doing at the other sites. Um, so here, we're not just doing a brain scan with a normal brain coil. We're using an abdominal coil um, that goes around our subject's kind of midsection. And we ask them to do a breath hold um, for about 18 seconds, and we're measuring um, visceral fat. Um, there's been previous data that suggests that visceral fat has to do with um, a decrease in executive functioning, like decision making, working memory, that type of thing in adolescence. So we're looking at replicating those results. So we use an abdominal coil, um, a head coil as well for the brain scan. Um, we use um, a tablet um, to do some neuropsychological tests. Is it okay? Yes, okay, great. I quite like the MRI. I know that sounds really weird, but I do like the MRI scan and it's kind of a new experience. I've tested 107 subjects total. I think she's the 108th. Uh, but we still have many more to go through, so the study is not even close to being finished. We're still really in the thick of it, so. Okay, can I ask you to close your eyes? Mm -hmm. You can open your eyes now. As soon as we kind of have the big picture of all the results coming in from the genetic analyses, um, the neuroimaging data, and then the data from the mental health interviews and other things that I do with them, um, people will start doing analyses and trying to publish some articles right away, so we won't have to wait another three years. Thank you. What's happening to you shortly, okay? okay? Thank you. Just pass. Because it's from 14 to 18 is such a big difference, like there's been so much change in my life, and I've kind of seen that with the questionnaires, so it'll be interesting to see how much it's changed further when I'm looking at Okay, I'm ready. Okay, great. You start the scan now. And you have a picture of your brain. I do. I have a like a CD with a picture of my brain on, which was so weird just to watch back. And yeah, I would have never had that opportunity to see my own brain if I hadn't done this.